In a kinder, gentler, alternative timeline, Greg Callahan would be racing for the win here again in Madeira. The last time we were in Madeira here, I left leading the series. The win in 2017 in Madeira was a huge achievement. It was an important victory because it just showed people that it wasn't just a hometown winner. The life of a professional mountain bike racer might sometimes be kind, but it's rarely gentle. Yeah, unfortunately, it's been quite the opposite. This time around, where I've started the season with two bad races, and I'm sitting here now, injured, missing out on the third. Five hundred seventy nine kilometers off the coast of Morocco lies a mountain biking version of Jurassic Park. If you're the type of mountain biker who has a bucket list of places you want to ride before you die, Madeira should definitely be near the top. Two particular racers have made the pilgrimage to this Portuguese island propelled by displays of competitive brilliance at the previous two stops, leaving the rest of the field reeling, trying to reverse engineer that race-winning DNA. It's times like these you might begin to believe that the number one plates are all but determined. But in racing, it's rarely ever plain sailing. The races are like so technical and physical, really demanding. I think it's like the highest level ever reached before by the woman. And I feel like we are getting a lot more of uh, consideration. I think being small is good for endure, you know. Slide through those janky corners. Not unless. <laughs> this guy is kind of crazy. He doesn't track walk, he doesn't watch his GoPros. And then boom, he's there. You know, he probably sees everything in slow mo and <laughs> I would give money to be in his brain and to see what he sees. Because it's probably pretty interesting. Over the course of an athlete's career, one of the key elements of success is a trait that can't be tracked on a spreadsheet or measured with a heart rate monitor. Yeah, attitude. Attitude is what separates above average from excellent and dictates how a racer deals with the unpredictable. Damn, son. It was not hard for me to see that Greg broke his leg, not with mountain biking sport. Two fractures and two ah. ruptured ligaments. Yeah. Fell off an electric KTM. <laughs> nice! <laughs> the start of 2019 is not what we expected, also as a Cube brand and what Greg expected. This year, uh, obviously, his contract is up with, uh, with Cube at the end of the season. I knew it is a contract year, so I want to have a big season to, uh, you know, to show my, my value when it counts. You know, having two bad races to start the season and then missing the third with this injury. It does put the pressure on because you kind of, you feel like you need to perform. Your future, in a sense, kind of rides on, on what I'm going to do for the rest of the season. He is going to have to be attack and go all out for wins, whereas before you may just settle for a good place to get the results for the series. If you don't perform enough and if you're not good enough for a few seasons, you will be out of the job. You gotta keep that in mind and you know keep the sponsors happy and uh, also keep yourself happy because that will always make you faster. Here's an interesting paradox about bike racing. The mental management strategies needed to deal with the strain of competing in high profile locations scattered across the planet are almost always developed much closer to home. Oh, 
home is home for me. You know, there'll, there'll never be anywhere that'll uh, give you that same comfort and feeling of being home on your home trails. When you go riding and you know everyone, you recognise everyone, and people are wishing you the best and all that, it's something that really uplifts me. If I'm not riding a bicycle, I'm probably riding a motorbike. Yeah, whenever I was a privateer, I always said to myself that whenever I, was, if I ever start making money at this, I'll buy myself a trials bike and a motocross bike. Anything with two wheels, I love. If you ride a mountain bike or a bicycle every day of the week, all year round, you're gonna lose that little bit of motivation. So you mix up your training a bit and it's good to do different things. I've recently bought an Xbox. I've got a pretty good career going in FIFA. Yes. In the bag, cash money. Won the World Cup the other day. No big deal. <laughs> this is a group of men learning to play golf. <laughs> Didn't go up. I only know power. You have to have fun. Like I've always believed, fun is fast. And fast is fun. Oh! 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 The spirit you get in Ireland and the people and like the crack you can have in Ireland, you, you don't get it anywhere else. The crack. 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 What is the crack? <laughs> yeah, so it's probably important to get some of these words out in the clear now. Crack does not mean hard drugs. It is having a bit of fun, having a laugh. What's the crack? What's up? Any news? Yeah, crack is not drugs. It's a, it's a good time. I think it was my intuition to take Greg into the team because the most important thing for me is the character. The character of Greg is, is a really, really good one and fits 110% in the team and in the Cube family. I must say it is really successful and it was 100% the right choice. Certainly with living in Ireland with my group of friends, there's no risk of me getting big headed, I don't think. You come back from a World Series and you go home to Ireland, you might have won. And, you know, they wouldn't say, Jesus, well done. They'd say, oh, you didn't do, do too bad last weekend, would they? Like, it's, it's backhanded compliments everywhere. So uh, you definitely get kept humble. <laughs> Listen to her. We're on the start of day two here. Just looking out over the coast of Madeira, up above the clouds. It's a beautiful day for it. Yes, Billy! Up, 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 go on! Check it out! Too safe. Not too crazy. Zach, the most they pedal very aggressive here. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Pedal to the metal. Yes, boy, perfect. Get it! Yes, boy. Oh, mint. Bouncing back from the inevitable setbacks a race season will throw at you is what transforms contenders into winners. And winners into champions. The unspoken quality of greatness isn't the bike, the training, or the talent. It's a racer's resilience. In seven years of racing the rest, this is only the second race I've missed through injury. It's been two weeks now, another three weeks, and hopefully I'll be easing my way back onto the bike, ready for round four. I knew there was gonna be holes everywhere, but still, when you get in there and you're like, you know, redlining, it's hard hitting those holes fast. It seems like Martin, you know, he's just, he's being smart about it. He's, he knows where he can make the time and where he can potentially risk a mistake or a crash. Yeah, he's charging where it counts. With three wins and three starts, both Mays and Coudurier are very firmly in control of the EWS overall standings. But when it comes to racing, illness, injury, or the unforeseen have a track record of regularly derailing championship aspirations. Next on On Track. First race back in, in a while, and uh, definitely a bit nervous to, to come back and, you know, put down a race run again. 